Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if I had to get to, if I needed to, if I had to present a topic for this sermon today, it would be, why can't we serve God for who he is? All right. Okay. Why can't we serve God for who he is? I don't know about you, but I know he is the great one. All right. He is that lily of the valley. Uh -huh. He is the bright morning sun. Ooh, hallelujah. He is that way maker. I don't know about you, but I know he made a way for me. Hallelujah. Why we can't just praise him for who he is? All right. Uh, we, we, Come on now. So many times people want to try to make deals with God in order for him to be who he is. Have mercy. But I'm here to tell you, he is who he is. All right. Hallelujah. We ought to stop trying to manipulate God. That's what we do. You know, we try to, Lord God, if you do this for me, I'll do that. But why we can't just serve him for who he is? Come on. Why can't we surrender and give it up to him? He's the only one that can put the clouds in the sky. Amen. He's the only one that can make the rain come down. Amen. I'm telling you, he's the only one that can take the sick man out of the sick bed Woo. and heal him full. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Jesus. You won't have no repercussion. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Thank God you. is the only Thank one. You. He is that doctor in the sick room. Yes, he is. Yeah. That lawyer in the courtroom. Yes. Yeah. That's why David said, let's praise him in the sanctuary. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, in the firmament of his power. Yes. Yeah. Come on and praise him. Yeah. For his mighty acts. Oh, yeah. Come on and praise him. Yeah. According to his excellent greatness. Yeah. Come on and praise him with the sound of the tap to tap.
by yourself. I'm here to tell you when you begin to praise God. See, you got to praise him for what you don't see. God didn't catch that, did you? Uh -uh. You're going to have to praise God for what you don't see. Uh -huh. You were asking for it, and you couldn't see it, but see, he was already working it out in the unseen for you. You didn't understand it. Why? It's taking a little time. Oh, why it's taking so long? But God is working the kinks and he's working out the knuckles in there. He's working them out. That when you walk up in there, everything will be all right. That's why you got to praise him. Praise him in the sanctuary. Praise him for his mighty acts. Why? Why can't we just serve God? Why we can't just serve him? And praise him for who he is. Why? We have problems. They in churches, they don't want to serve God for who he is. They want to serve the man for who they is. They want to go and, 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 and they want to, and hallelujah, they want to just mess up the whole system. They don't want to praise God for who he is. Man and got so caught up in himself. That he think he God. Have mercy. He done got so caught up in himself because he can wear alligator shoes. He think he God. Mm. Because he can ride in a Jaguar or uh, Rolls Royce. He think he God. Have mercy. Have mercy. Why we can't serve God for who he is. Okay. We need to learn to serve God for who he is. Give him his props. Amen. He said, let other thing have brought praise you the Lord. Praise him in a sanctuary. In Revelations 22 and 13, Revelation say, God is, he said, I am Alpha and Omega. He said, I am the first and the last. So he already done called his rank. I am the first and the last. See, a lot of people, they be born and they die off. But he's everlasting. Hallelujah. He don't run down. Come on now. Our bodies wear down and we, our bones get to popping and going on and, and our hair done turn colors and, and some of us get fat and some of us get skinny. And, but God is still God. All right. The trees done growed up and got cut down and houses done burned up and they done built something else up. But God still comes. Yes, he is. Oh, by himself. I can imagine... The thing that Moses had to put up with when he was going down to Egypt and talking to Pharaoh and he began to come to God with a problem and said, Lord, I, I know you got me up here and you want me to go back and talk to Pharaoh. He said, but Lord, I, 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 I got a problem with talking. I, I can't speak well. God said, wait a minute. Who made the mouth? Hey! He said, you don't worry about whether your speech is right or wrong. He said, all I want you to do is just go down there. Uh -huh. but, but Moses was talking about, Lord, you know I'm slow in speech. He said, don't worry about that. I'm the one that made the mouth. If you just pick, pick up and go like I told you to go. Hey, don't worry about how you talk. Sometimes people get criticized. They criticize preachers because they can't preach like everybody else. But God ain't call you to talk like everybody else. Some of us may have a slow speech. That means that we got to get our lesson, give it to you a little slower. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's all right. We, gotta, we can't speak eloquently like, uh, 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 like Moses was talking to God. God, you know I can't speak eloquently. Uh, uh, Lord, Lord, he said, don't worry about that. Just open up your mouth. Yeah. Just do what I ask you to do. Uh-huh. But we can't serve God for who he is because we got too many stipulations. Uh -huh. We got too many hang-ups. Lord, I would serve you, but you know, Lord, you know me. That's what we use all the time when we, when we don't want to go. Lord, you know me. Lord, you know I don't fit over there. But think about it. Mm -hmm. The things that you do for him. Think about what he had done for you. Amen. You sitting up there talking about your little sacrifice that you're giving him. Think about the sacrifice he sacrificed for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why we can't serve God for who he is. 
We find other little gods, but I'm here to tell you, uh, uh, Isaiah 44 and 6, he said, I am the first and the last, and beside me there, there is, is no, no other God. God. Mm. There is no other God. I'm the first and the last, and beside me ain't no other God. And we got to understand that we got to learn to serve him for who he is. Yes. Oh, yeah. we always want something from him, but we don't want to serve him Just for, who for who he is. He is. Uh -huh. Always asking God, coming to God, asking God for something, but we don't want to serve him for who he is. The word of God said that if a man is wavering, let him get nothing. He ain't get nothing for me because he's wavering. See, God knows who's on his side. And if you don't serve him, learn to serve him for who he is, then you're going to be lost. You're going to be lost. You're going to have to know who you serve. Hallelujah. And that's why I love Psalms 150. He said, praise ye the Lord in his sanctuary. Praise him. Give him glory. Don't wait till tomorrow because tomorrow ain't promised to you. You got to praise him right now. That's why a lot of people, when it comes time to surrender their lives or, or get re-announced back into the church and get a fresh anointing on them, they want, I'll wait till next Sunday. You don't know how my brother, my sister, whether you're going to be here next Sunday. Yeah. Because they're dropping off like flies, young and old. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be old to leave this world. Mm -hmm. You got no too way. many young people dying so quick. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Why not serve God? Why can't we serve him for who he is? I sat there and I began to glorify the Lord out there and, and it was so beautiful. And think about the awesome God that we serve. I've heard so many stories and I've heard people that said I was brought back from dead. My evangelist in here, she said, I know it was God. I know. That brought me out of the fire. Amen. I know it was God. Hallelujah. And my wife said, I know it was God. Hallelujah. That brought me out of that hospital. Hallelujah. Nobody else was able to do it. Hallelujah. See, man will say, well, this, and man will say that, because they're puzzled, but God is the awesome. Yes, he is. And the finish of your faith. Oh, yes, he is. God is the one that created you. Amen. Man is trying to figure you out. Come on now. Ah. You hear what I'm saying? Ah. God is the one that created you. Yes. So he knows everything about you. Yes. But man is still trying to figure you out. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You go in the hospital and, and you may have a nervous breakdown. The first thing they say, you must have been on drugs. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Because they can't figure you out. Uh -huh. It wasn't drugs. Mm -hmm. It wasn't drugs. I could have just been too tired. Come on now. Something else happened. Uh -huh. It wasn't drugs. Mm -hmm. They'll tell you that you ain't got sense enough to do this and that. People judge you on the outward appearance. That's okay. it. Say it. Say it. Don't know nothing about you, uh -huh. but they judge you on the outward appearance. Amen. Amen. Well, we can't just serve God for who he is. All right. right. I have a problem with, well, you know, it. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. People don't want to make up in their minds to serve him. To serve him for who he is. For who he is. For who he is. Mm -hmm. They want a God that they can manipulate. Uh -huh. They want a God that they can put in, in the corner where they want him at and say, you stay right there. Right. But we serve an omnipresent God. He's everywhere at all times. Come on now. Come on. Man, I got to the point that they want to do what they want to do and wait when they want God to okay it. Well, you know, God still love me too. Yeah, but your sin is going to block you from heaven. Mm -hmm. I, didn't come, I didn't come to entertain because we go to the movies and we want to be entertained. Mm -hmm. But we come today for soul food. And why we can't serve God for who he is is because there's something that's blocking us. They had an old song back in the days that Jesus on that main line. Amen. Tell him what you want. Mm -hmm. But then you can't get your call through if you got a whole lot of mess in the way. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm going to praise him in the sanctuary. I'm going to praise him in the fundamentals of his power. 
If you go outside and look at the sky and see the clouds and feel the wind blow, that's his power. That's his power. Mm -hmm. Minister Ricky had a song that he loved. Uh, uh, he used to sing it all the time. God's majesty uh -huh. is better than life. Yes, it is. When you can understand the power that God has restored upon us. Uh-huh. And giving us authority over the enemy, then you can understand that the enemy gonna bow down to you. Uh huh. Because he's giving you that authority. Uh huh. And we just won't praise him for who he is. Right. Because we want our way. Mm -hmm. And if it ain't God's way, it ain't gonna be no way. Then now he said, I am the first and the last, and beside me, there's no other God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Many a times we fail to realize that we got to praise him while we got a chance. Mm -hmm. I'm going to praise him every day I can. I'm going to give him glory every day I can. Mm -hmm. Obstacles may be against me, I'm going to praise him. If my head hurt, my back hurt, I'm going to praise him. If I ain't got no money, if I got too much food, I'm going to praise him. If I ain't got but a shack, I'm going to praise him. I'm not going to praise him just for him to give me a Rolls Royce. Because whatever God has done for you, he already has done exactly yeah. what you need. Yeah. Already done it. Already but you the one thinking that you need more. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that I said, David, when David began his old magnify the Lord with me, let us exalt his name together. He could have said, I'm going to exalt the Lord. I don't care who you exalt. But he said, let us exalt his name together. Because we're in the same what? We're in the same boat together. Hallelujah. Trying to get to heaven. Ain't no big eyes or big use. I ain't got time to be stepping on your head trying to step you down. I'm trying to get to heaven too. Mm -hmm. I ain't got time to prejudge you. Uh -huh. Only thing I can do is look at my Lord. Lord, help me to get right. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. If we take our time and begin to work on ourselves, we'll find that we ain't got time to try to point fingers at nobody else. Come on now. It's true. Ain't got time to point no fingers at nobody else because we are mess. Man, you, you know what I'm saying, Minister? We are a mess. Yeah. We try to cut it up, but it's still a mess. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. That's true. See, I can say that for myself. Because see, like Evangelist is saying, tell me, say, well, I can talk about myself. And That's right. I get mad. That's right. But I'm here to tell you the word of God. I said, cry loud and spare not. So I'm going to cry loud and spare not. Uh -huh. I said, whoever is here, they're just going to hit it. They say if the shoe fit, you gotta wear. Amen. 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 You gotta get a witness out there. If the shoe Amen. fit, you're gonna put it on. Amen. Don't be trying to run away from that shoe and you know that shoe fits you. Ah, look at my shoe. Look at mine. You know that's your shoe. It fits you. You the one trying to get trying to get two dollars to twenty dollars for two dollars. You know, you know what I'm saying. You the one trying to pull that scheme and then when it get when it go wrong, you get mad. Real quick. You know it. How many of y'all have, have got scammed back there? Lord, I'm here to tell you, I wave my hand too. I got scammed because I was trying to do something wrong. <laughs> I'm trying to win some money. Trying to win some money? I was trying to get a camcorder. <laughs> I got a box full of blocks. Now, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if you do the right thing, God can't do nothing but bless you. Amen. But, but why not? Why we can't just serve him for who he is? He said, "You can just if you can give me, just be patient. If you can be patient, anything you ask him for, he give it to you. But your pain, your, your impatience what is what put you in trouble." Amen. I can't wait. Amen. God has been too good to us. According to John's 12 and 32, he said, if I be lifted up, come on now, I'll throw all men unto thee. Oh, he said, but all you got to do is just lift me up. When you begin to lift me up, you'll find other people want to follow you. Don't nobody want to follow you. You always putting somebody down. When you begin to lift him up, when you begin to lift Jesus up, then you're going to find some people want to go to church with you. You wondering why that person don't want to go to church with you? Because you always putting people down. You got to start lifting Jesus up and living the life. See, that's the thing, because right? people say, hear one thing and they'll see another. Amen. You be able to say that you in the church and you all this and you all that, but they're hearing another. 
Oh my God, my God! Come on now, have your way, Lord. Have your way. Why we can't? Why we can't serve Him for who He is? He tells us to live the life. We got to be first partakers. We got to live the life. We got to be understanding. We got to be obedient to God's word. That's right. Before we can try to put somebody else in check. Right. We got to do it. Yeah. Always got somebody pointing fingers. Why you ain't doing it? Why you ain't doing it? Mm -hmm. James said in the book of James, he said, don't just be a hearer of the word, but be a doer also. Okay. You got to be a doer also. Don't just hear what I'm saying, but you got to live it. Right. Pastor, I don't know what's wrong with Pastor. Them. What's wrong with you? Something might be wrong with you. You been talking about me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, what I'm bringing on down the street, I ain't got time to play with it. Some things that you can't play with. Would you get out there and play with a rattlesnake? No, you leave that sucker alone because you know he can bite. Amen. So, this thing about it, you playing with sin, it's going to bite. Mm -hmm. But why we can't serve him for who he is? I'm going to serve him for who he is. If God tell me jump high, I'm going to try to jump as high as he want me to jump. Because he said I can do it. <laughs> okay. okay. He said if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men. And he said nothing about you. Nothing about you. It ain't got nothing about you. It ain't got, got nothing to do with you. He said if I be lifted up, all right. I'll draw all men. It ain't nothing about you going out there trying to draw somebody. He said I'll draw all men. But he got to be in you before he can draw Okay. Hmm? Okay. You got to live the life that he can draw somebody else. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be attracted to the Jesus in you and okay. gonna follow. Okay. Huh? Y'all hear what I'm saying? Uh -huh. They're gonna be attracted to the Jesus in you and then they're gonna follow. Mm -hmm. And that's what's gonna lift him up. Uh-huh. Because somebody's been like, wow, you know that earth. they took Peter, this Jesus done took Peter and changed him. I know he can change me. Okay. Oh, Peanut was a devil. Uh huh. But if he can do that for Peanut, I sure know he can do it for me. Okay. He said, if I be lifted up from the earth, uh huh, I draw all men unto thee. Uh huh. I said, I am Alpha and, and I am Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. When we get to this point in our lives. And, and trouble comes. Don't, 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 don't get me wrong. Pastor seem like everything works out. No, no, no. I have troubles too. We all have troubles. As long as we on this earth, we're going to have some problems. So don't be acting like, oh, I got everything. No, I ain't together. I'm going to tell you that right now. Because I got to go to God just like you. I got to go to God just like you. Because see, I'm learning. I'm learning how to get in order to do God's will. See, I'm not throwing no rocks at nobody, no sticks and planks and bowls. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you like it is. Why we can't just serve God for who he is? Okay. See, I'm still learning myself, man. Amen. I'm still learning. I ain't got it. Oh, my God, I ain't got it. Because if I was perfect, I would not be here standing here talking to you. Come on now. I'll be gone. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I don't have to worry about no electric bill no uh -uh. more. Car insurance and all that. I'll be having Jesus insurance. I'm flying. <laughs> I want to worry about all that. If I was perfect, I'd be up there with him. Mm -hmm. We don't have to worry about it. Well, it, well it, we're going to have some mad cow disease and all meat. Come I ain't going to be worried about all that. Come on now. Because we ain't going to be eating up in heaven. Mm -mm. I'll be perfect. Hallelujah. Down here where we have to be part of the Amen. and all this stuff. Amen. People messing with your food and all that stuff. But the thing about it is, when we begin to do what God said do, why we can't serve him for who he is? You didn't wake yourself up this morning. That's one thing man failed to realize. They think they just woke themselves up. Oh, I just woke up this morning. No, God woke you up. A lot of people did not wake up this morning. Amen. You was one of the blessed. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You was one of the blessed ones. Thank you. Then he shook you and said, okay, wake up. It's time to go on another journey. All right. I'm reminded of Job. And Job like, what is going on here? Why, why the devil messing with me? I, was, I thought I was fine. But when the devil hit your household, you still got to praise God. Well, yes, okay. you do. That don't seem fair, do it? Yes, you why do. he messing with me? I shouldn't have to praise God. You still got to praise God. You better pray. 
You still got to praise him, even though you're going through. Your financial problem is going and driving you crazy, and you feel like you don't need to praise God no more. That's the time you need to praise him the most. Say it. When you got money in your bank, it seems like everything is going good. That's the time you got to praise him the most. Amen. Believe me, you, the enemy is right around the corner. Mm -hmm. But God has given us authority over the enemy. That's why he said that everything that have breath, praise ye the Lord. And I know ain't no dead folks up in here. Come on now. Let everything that have breath, praise ye the Lord. I hope that I'm talking to all these live folks up in here. Amen. Though. If you're dead, he said, if ain't that dead, need to be buried. And back then, back in the Bible days, if a tree died, they burned it. Chopped it up and burned it. If you were back in Jesus' days, if you were dead, they throwed you over the hill somewhere, in the, on a, down the valley somewhere, and let you dry up, and the bugs ate you. <laughs> back in Jesus' days, they weren't worried about that covering your body up with a bunch of stones. A whole lot of gravel, a whole lot of rock there. So they didn't worry about it. We didn't dig no six feet deep down there. They didn't do that back then. They just stacked rocks up on top of you. <laughs> that was bad, wasn't it? Now you was messed up back in that day, they would kill you with some rocks, and then when you die, they cover you up with some rocks. <laughs> so either way, you got covered up and killed with rocks. And murder. But we're living today where Jesus says salvation is free. We're living today. He said, Come now, all ye that are labor and heaven labor. Give you rest. He said, Calm down while you have a chance. If you're not sure that you got your life together with him, he said, Calm down. He said, I stand at the door and knock. And if any man hear my voice, let him come. I'll come in and sit with him. We'll talk together. See, a lot of times we wait till it's said too late. And I'm, I'm almost through, but I used to hear an old song, an old song that. When my mama was living in, and she used to play this old song, and I did not quite understand it. And and she played this old song, I guess when she was going through some hard times in her life, and the old song was saying, too late, too late, she's gone or he's gone. It was about somebody that had lost a loved one, and they waited too late to accept Christ. And it was too late. Don't be like them. Don't wait too late. While the blood yet rushing through your veins, surrender your life to the Lord. If you don't have a church home, we open up this invitation right now that you can have a church home. That you can have people that love you. That's the name of the church, the agape, unconditional love. You can have a church home. And we need people that need a home. Amen. The need of home. We ain't gonna we ain't gonna water the word of God down because that water down ain't gonna do you no good. If you ever water down Kool-Aid, it don't taste like Kool-Aid. You stop watering it down, you gotta let the Kool-Aid be the Kool-Aid. And just put just enough in there to make it taste right. You water it down, it don't taste like Kool-Aid now. It just tastes like sweet water. I hope somebody understand what I'm saying. See, if you want the word of God down, then that means that means that the people is not getting the real word. Come on, man. The watered down version says you can go ahead on with your sinful life and it's all right with God. No, that's a lie. I'm sorry to bust your bubble, but that's a lie. Mm -hmm. If I stand up here and tell you that it's all right. It's hard to agree with people when they have already made up in their mind that they want to change who they are. And you you know them for who they was. Mm -hmm. And they want to change that. Mm -hmm. But God is an awesome God. And why well, we can't serve him for who he is. Amen. He ain't bending. He ain't leaning. Uh -huh. He ain't for the God ain't turning around for nobody. Mm -hmm. What he say he means, and what he means, he says. It's just like when he made you a male, he made you a male. When he made you a female, he made you a female. But men and women, they got to the point that they want to try to change the whole plan of God. But God is the one that created us. He's the one that created us. Now, we didn't create ourselves, but we're trying to. We're trying to make a, a replica of ourselves. 
Those that got the money, you know, poor folk ain't got no money. They're trying to make no replica. Amen. Ah, just forget it. Take a picture and last longer. That's all I'm going to say. Take a picture and last longer. Get it blowed up. That's it. That's it. That's it. Ain't going to be talking about no freeze drying me and all that. No, no we ain't yeah. having none of that. Uh uh. What God has created, what God has made, it was already perfect. It was already perfect. I thank God for Jesus. Amen. Amen. I just, Amen. I'm excited about Amen, the Lord. Amen, Pastor. That's why. Right. That's all right. I can only say. That's all right. How great is our God. Sing it with me. How great is our God.